Welcome to Cochrane Complementary Medicine's Evidence for Everyone series. Today we'll be introducing GRADE and the certainty of the evidence. What is certainty of the evidence? When we have a result from a systematic review, we need to think about how confident we are that this result is true. Authors use something called the certainty of evidence to explain how confident they are in the results. All Cochrane reviews report the certainty of the evidence for the most important results from the review. One system often used to determine the certainty of the evidence is GRADE. GRADE stands for Grading of Recommendations, Assessment, Development, and Evaluation. And this is the system used in all Cochrane reviews to report how sure the authors are that the most important results from the review are true. The GRADE assessment begins with the authors assuming the result is true. Then they look at five different factors that can make them less sure about the truth of the result. The factors are risk of bias, imprecision, inconsistency, indirectness, and publication bias. Let's look at these five factors using an example from everyday life. When we're deciding whether to go to a restaurant and looking at the restaurant ratings online, we judge the ratings information using the same concepts that authors use to judge the certainty of the evidence about an effect estimate. The first item is risk of bias. A bias is something that makes information systematically different from the truth. For example, if a restaurant owner gives diners a small amount of cash or a coupon in exchange for leaving a review, this could make the diners more likely to leave a positive review. Believing that the information available might be affected by bias can make you unsure whether the information is true. The second item is imprecision. Imprecision is when you don't have enough information to be sure about the results. Here's an example where there are only a few ratings of a restaurant on opening day. With only one day and a few ratings, it's difficult to be sure about how good the restaurant actually is. Compare this to having many more ratings two months later. With more information, you can be more sure that the restaurant is probably good or even great, and you have more precision. The third item is inconsistency. Inconsistency is when there are differences that make it difficult to come to an overall conclusion. Here's an example where the ratings are all great or all terrible. There could be a good reason for the differences. For example, maybe two different chefs are working at the restaurant, and one is great and the other is terrible. However, looking at these ratings without an explanation would make it difficult to interpret this information. This is inconsistency. The fourth item is indirectness. Indirectness is when the available information isn't directly relevant to answer your question. For example, you might be looking for an Italian restaurant that serves pizza. You see a pizza and a pasta restaurant with good reviews, but when you read the reviews, you see that most of the reviews are about the pasta. The restaurant ratings tell you how good the pasta is, but they aren't very informative about the pizza. This is indirectness. The last item is publication bias. Publication bias is when there is missing or hidden information. For example, if you knew that the restaurant can control what reviews are published, you might suspect that the restaurant only publishes the positive reviews. Being unsure about the results because you think there is hidden information is an example of publication bias. Putting all of these considerations together, the level of certainty of evidence about a result is rated as high, moderate, low, or very low. The certainty that a result is true begins as high. However, the certainty decreases one or more levels each time there is a serious concern about risk of bias, imprecision, inconsistency, indirectness, or publication bias. What do these levels of certainty mean? High means that we are sure the result is true. Moderate means we think the result is probably true. Low means that the result may be true. And very low means that we are very uncertain whether the result is true. Let's look at an example from a recent Cochrane review. This review looked at whether vitamin D could improve outcomes in inflammatory bowel disease, including Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. The review found that people with ulcerative colitis taking vitamin D were four times more likely to get better than people taking placebo. The result showed a large benefit from taking vitamin D. However, the authors rated the certainty of evidence for this result as very low. They found the result was very uncertain and stated that they could not make any conclusions about whether people with IBD are more likely to get better with vitamin D than placebo. Why did they rate the certainty of the evidence as very low? They had serious concerns about imprecision, so the certainty of the evidence went down by two levels from high to low. The findings were based only on one small study with 60 people and very few of them got better. 
Then the authors had some concerns with how the study was conducted and thought the study could be biased, so they went from low certainty to very low certainty. This is how judgments are made about whether a result is true. It's an important part of making conclusions about the most important results from a systematic review. GRADE is a system used in all Cochrane reviews to evaluate and express how certain the authors are that a result is true from the review. We use it by making judgments about the risk of bias, imprecision, inconsistency, indirectness, and publication bias. GRADE tells us that there are four levels of certainty. If certainty is high, we think the result is true. If certainty is moderate or low, we are less certain that the result is true. And if certainty is very low, we are very uncertain whether the result is true. Thank you for watching this Evidence for Everyone video from Cochrane Complementary Medicine. You can find more videos like this as well as other informational resources at the links provided here.